Hi, I'm Dr. Michael Whalen, and I'm a network chiropractor, and I practice at the Vitalistic Healing Arts Center in Laguna Hills, California. Network spinal analysis is a healing technology that was founded and developed by Dr. Donald Epstein, a chiropractor, taught to chiropractors worldwide. Chiropractors use gentle, precise touches along the spine in a specific sequence which elicits a deeper brain-body connection which helps the body-mind reconnect to stored stress and recover. I'm going to answer that question using an analogy. Think of your body like a dark room. How do you remove darkness from a room? You can't take something away. You have to bring in more light energy. Disease in our body is like a dark room. It's not as if we have something, it's as if we've lost something. We've lost the connection to that energy, to our life force energy, what, do, what chiropractors call innate intelligence. So what we do as network practitioners is we create an environment that allow you to draw back into that light force energy that you've disconnected from. Okay, so the typical patients that I see in my practice are usually people who've been to other medical doctors or other chiropractors and they get mixed results. They, have, they may have chronic pain or acute pain and they make a temporary relief or they don't like the side effects of the drugs that they're prescribed. A large percentage of my practice are people who just feel as if they're missing something in life. They lack energy, they lack vitality, they feel overwhelmed with stress. They lack mental clarity. They lack their creative essence. So with NSA, what, what Network helps patients with is helps people reconnect to those resources, helps their body get into a state of ease and grace to where they can reconnect to their life force energy and regain their vitality. We have studies that demonstrate that network spine, people receiving the care of network spinal analysis have greater mental clarity. They have um, the ability to sleep better. They have, obviously, they have less, less pain. They also um, make healthier choices in their life. They get greater flexibility. They recover from acute and chronic pain in their body, in their physical body. And they actually feel better about themselves emotionally. Most of us in, in our current environment have to deal with daily stress. Physical stress, emotional stress, as well as chemical stress. We're bombarded with that. Our body is a sensory machine. It picks up these different stressors and over a period of time we go into what we call fight or flight or defense physiology. It's very, very difficult to be able to access our body's resources, our body's intelligence when we're living in fight or flight with a lot of tension. It's very difficult to have great mental clarity and creativeness when we're functioning from our lower brain when we're in fight or flight. With network spinal analysis, with these gentle contacts along our spine, it allows the body to begin to drop those stresses. We increase the brain-body connection and the body's cued in as if it needs to not, no longer hold on to these past patterns of stress that have been stored in some of us for decades. It's a very safe, natural and organic experience and there are no side effects to receiving these entrainment contacts. So what makes network spinal analysis different is that there are two healing waves that patients report over a series of entrainments. The first wave is called a somatopsychic wave or a body-mind wave. The other wave is a respiratory wave and it's a wave of breath that moves through all the vertebrae up your spine. You're about to see a video with an animation and an explanation of what these waves mean and what they feel like and look like in your body. This first graphic depicts the spinal gateway and the spinal entrainment contact. It shows what would be an available spinal gateway as it would appear in the cervical spinal region. 
The circle is the spinal gateway. My finger gently tractions open the gateway and makes it available to be contacted. My other finger then enters the spinal gateway, which cues the brain, as indicated by the yellow highlighted cerebrum perimeter. The brain responds by auto-assessing the spinal cord and its related subsystems to locate cord tension and related area subsystem stress. These are typical causes for pain and reduced flexibility of the body and mind. Once the brain locates the cord tension and subsystem stress, it will spontaneously initiate sensory motor strategies that release the cord tension and stress as depicted in the next graphic. This second graphic depicts the first sensory motor strategy to develop called the breathing wave. The red areas depict lumbar and cervical spinal region, cord tension, and related area subsystem stress. The purple wave illustrates the breathing wave and how it moves. This wave travels from caudal to cephalad and back continuously into all phasic tension and stress is released. Ultimately, the patient's breathing rhythm and the pace of the breathing wave will become synchronous. The respiratory wave will not be considered complete until it travels from coccyx to occiput and back unimpeded. After the cord tension and related subsystem stress has reduced significantly, network spinal analysis care will progress as I then teach the brain to create another stress relieving and transformation inducing sensory motor strategy called the network wave. This second wave travels more often across the spine from left to right or right to left and is most associated with intervertebral joint oscillation and movement. Notice how this patient is gently rocking his cervical spine side to side. This is an involuntary movement orchestrated by an efficiently developed network wave and occurred spontaneously after the patient had completed a full breathing wave. The patient could stop the wave movement at any time, but wouldn't want to because he is releasing deep emotional stress rapidly and his consciousness has shifted to a deep inner state of relaxation. In this graphic, I am initiating the network wave on a patient by contacting two spinal gateways one on each side of the cervical spine. The network wave is represented by the purple wave on the right, and it is initiating the joint oscillation or vibration between the second cervical and first cervical vertebrae on the right. The wave will then transfer across the spine to the left, and will initiate the second cervical and third cervical joint to begin its oscillation. Over time, the wave will become like a figure eight or infinity sign, and the bilateral joints will oscillate continuously and synchronously. This sensory motor strategy results in the release of spinal and life tensions. A remarkable characteristic of the network wave is that it utilizes stored tension as fuel for healing and is associated with promoting the reorganization of the spine. In other words, it recycles the energy stored as stress and utilizes that same energy to create and augment the progression of the wave. After experiencing this wave, outcome studies consistently reveal the perception of enhanced patient wellness and quality of life. Isn't that what every patient wants for themselves deep down and that all doctors wish that they could deliver? Research studies confirm that the network wave is a phenomenon and that it has all the features of a central pattern generator. I've been doing, uh, I've been practicing network spinal analysis for 21 years and I have seen literally tens of thousands of patients and in that time I've seen so many people's lives transform and change. I have such a passion for turning on people's life force energy. I am in awe of the changes that people experience as they go through this work. We make people's lives better. Whatever else you do in life, you have greater depth, greater richness, it's more effective. It just makes whatever, everything else you do in life, it makes it better. It brings us back to our essence. It brings us back to who we are. It brings us into the depth of our life. Life was not meant to be a mental exercise per se, but life was meant to be felt and felt at the deepest level of our core. And the, 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 the most beautiful thing about network is it brings us back to our, to our essence, to our core, to what we're to do here, to our purpose in life, to connect to that again. And um, really that is what transformation is. To, to, really, to really transform, you must really feel on a very deep level, all of it, all of the essence of who you are in this life. 
The Vitalistic Healing Arts Center, my office, is in Laguna Hills, California. Our phone number is 949-581-5231. Give us a call. Talk to Mary. Come in and meet me. I would love to see you. I just would love to help you with whatever your health issues are right now, whether it's chronic pain, acute pain, or whether it's just a lack of vitality, a lack of drive in your life, a lack of vision. Just come in and meet us. Talk to us. Call Mary at 949-581-5231. Thank you.